Hello YouTubers, NHRA 1975 just finished installing the shift noid uh, shifting solenoid system. So that's got your shift noid, uh, your your powerful solenoid, and then your uh, relay system. And that is going to be used as a controller, the elite RPM switch. So that will that set up to, to to send a signal on this thing at a certain RPM using your tax signal. Anyways, I uh, just want to do a short video on this, on the action of this unit, so uh, here we go. Here's uh, one to two. And then two to three. So as you can see, uh, it's all working properly. Um, I guess uh, one thing I must point out is the, uh, the support's really good on this. A guy named Bob very uh if, if you buy this all uh, this unit you the support's awesome you're not going to get left out hung out to dry by uh by him he's really good you can phone him any time any time during working hours and he's been really good um it's important to have this thing um this as far as you there's as most threads as you can so what i did is i adjusted it in in third gear or this is a this is a th four hundred three speed transmission so that gives it uh, the most amount of sort of arm length, I guess, or leverage. So that's a big thing. Um, <clears throat> other than that, uh, it's important uh, the gauge wire you use. You want to use 10 gauge, and you want to make sure that's connected right to your battery disconnect switch. Uh, a good ground. And uh, I'd really recommend using these uh, Elite RPM switches so far from what I've read. I won't be able to test it, obviously, till the spring. But they're the way to go to control this unit. Otherwise... Uh, you can get into uh, some trouble, so uh, yeah, it, it works well as you can see, so I'm looking forward to using it next year, so here we go again. So that should take care of my shifting. Okay, thanks guys.